what's up guys back with another twin motion tutorial i'm going to show you how i created this rendering using twin motion let's get right into the video okay so the first thing we want to do is kind of create our view so right now this is the view that we are going to use but i will make further adjustments down the line so Let's go to the plus sign let's create our view and next thing we want to do is we want to start applying some textures so I already have my library open and as you know twin motion has a uh, slew of materials that we can use in their library to speed up the process I did save a lot of these materials I'm gonna use in this rendering into my user library so we go to library I got user library so I have my materials in a folder called materials and textures so this is just a quick way for me to be able to um, speed up my tutorials to get you guys faster results so we're gonna go to materials here and we're gonna start applying some materials to our scene so we have some marker boards here dry erase boards and we're gonna apply a plastic gloss to it and we'll do that for the other one as well okay so I'm gonna use the same material I use on the marker boards on our chairs so we're gonna use our chairs as well So next we have our walls and we have a TV here. So for our walls, I want this to be my accent wall. So instead of doing a plain stucco white, we're gonna do a matte blue. And for the rest of the walls in our scene, we're gonna use uh, white. And we're gonna also apply that white material texture to our ceiling as well. So we can go to our material picker, click it, and we can drag it. So we have a rubber base at the bottom as well I do not want that to be the same um, texture or same um, color exactly as our walls as our white walls so I have a matte painted wall that I will use just to kind of give it a little bit of an offset so as you can see the color difference here And we're just gonna apply that to all our rubber base. Okay, so now that we have that, and guys, if you're liking this video, uh, don't forget to smash that like button for me. All right, so also, in our scene so now we can click on our image and we can refresh it all right so let's go ahead and start applying some material to our TV so we have our TV screen texture here you just drag it and drop and on the on the outside of our TV we're gonna use I'm gonna use a more of a matte kind of metal. Let's see. We'll use the glossy metal black. There you go. Alright. And as you can see we have our lighting up top. So we're gonna use our slightly worn chrome. 
for those guys. Okay. And also for our, our board here, we're gonna use a plastic glossy as well. And we're gonna get to the flooring here in just a second. Right now, I'm just kind of applying some material. And you guys can just follow along. So for our chairs, we're gonna use slightly worn chrome as well. Okay, so down here, as you can see, these little stoppers kind of help stop scraping the floor. I don't want to use the same chrome material. I want to use a rubber material for that. So as you can see, it's a slight difference. And we just want to apply that to all of them. I got all of them. All right, so next, let's go ahead and apply um, wood. So I use a wood tent too for my flooring. As you can see here, it's pretty much the same. So I can actually click on that one and just drag it here. And I also use the same wood for our tabletops. Okay, so now that I have pretty much set up the scene, we're gonna start adding some assets. And we're gonna also add some to uh, some lighting as well. So let's go ahead and start with the lighting actually. So I have a, a light LED. So we're gonna drag and drop that. And we'll, we'll be adding um, some more stuff for lighting as well as we kind of get further down into uh, the details of our rendering. All right, so we can go back to our image. We can refresh it. I'm going to rename this image. And I'm gonna call it workstation area. Okay, so let's start adding some details to start adding some life to our rendering. When you start adding more details as far as um, assets to your scene, it starts to uh, look more realistic. So let's see how we can do that. Again, I'm gonna go to my library and Twinmotion does have um, different avenues where you can utilize different assets in their library for the sake of time i went ahead and added these assets to my user library which i call asset scene and that way i can drag and drop quickly okay Okay, so 
There's some sticky notes I want to add to this board as well. Say make it happen. I like that. Do this week. And yeah, to do list. Okay, so we're gonna start applying some decals as well to our scene. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's see. Let's go to objects, decals. We're gonna scroll down. And I'm gonna apply a decal here. Okay, so we're gonna change the size to 0 0.37. We're gonna change our depth to 0 0.01. And let's go to details. Let's change our length as well. 0 0.9. And I want to make my width uh, longer, 3.1. So you're going to see what I'm doing here in just a second. All right, so now that we have our decal there, we're going to go to we'll go to color, details. And right here where it says texture, we're going to click on that. And here is where you can actually replace this decal with an image um, that you want to put in this place. So we're going to click on open. Click on this guy. So as you can see, I have that decal there. And I want to make some adjustments. So now it looks like someone has been writing on the board. You got in carb here for those who understand what that is. And let's see. Okay, so now I'm gonna do another decal. But with this one, I'm going to go to guys. If you're liking this video, don't forget to hit that like button for me. Objects, decal. Well, before we actually do that, let's go to primitives and I want to lay this out. I'm going to change the scale of this. Okay. I'll rotate it 90 degrees. stretch this out just a little bit Okay, so now we're gonna place a decal on this plane. And I'm just gonna repeat the same steps that I did for the other decal. I'm gonna drag this guy here. And we're gonna change the size of it, of course. All right, 
here we go. So we want to change the size of this guy. We're going to actually keep the depth at one. I'm going to change the depth. I mean, the details length to 2.1. width at 0 0.9 let's do something real quick all right so let's go to color details we're gonna replace it use the floor plan Alright, so let's play around with it. So the idea is to make this space look more like a work uh, workstation or a collaborative uh, space for architects or designers. And I am just kind of Creating what looks like a a real life space where they can collaborate, and looks like they're looking at a floor plan. All right, so so now we're gonna kind of play around with some of the saturation of our decal. Let's see here. Okay. We'll make some adjustments. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button for me. We're gonna get to the path tracer in just a second. All right, so let's see something. All right, there we go. That's what I was looking for. So let's change our saturation, let's boost that up. Change our gamma one. I want I wanted the image to be a little dark. So when we set up the image and we start rendering it, you can see see a more clear image of the floor plan itself. Okay, so now that we got that there, let's add some of our lighting. Let's go to library, go back to my user library. Let's go to our, yeah, is it assets? No, materials. And we're gonna add some lighting here. So we're gonna do Control C, Control V, and we're just gonna copy that same lighting to the next one. All right. Okay. So now that we have a lot of our assets already there, we should be good to go to start 
upgrading our view and doing our path tracer. Okay, so there's plenty of other things that we gotta change here. So for our camera, we're gonna, so auto exposure, we're gonna keep that on. Make that 1.25. Our white balance is at 6,500. We're gonna change that to 3,800. Have a more, more cooler look. Okay. Change our focal length to 26. This might have to change later. So our vignetting, we're gonna change that to 65. Make our sharpness 25. Make sure parallelism is checked. Okay. We're gonna go to film back. We're gonna enable that. And we're going to select 16.9 digital film. Okay. Go to FX. I'm going to do contrast at 45%, saturation 60%. All right. So there's one more thing that I forgot to do is add one more lighting piece so we're gonna go to library I didn't save this one to my user library go to library we're gonna to go to lights and we're gonna add a area light to our scene okay let's kind of center this let's get out of this mode so I can see everything So for the area of light, we're gonna do an intensity. We're gonna bring the intensity down to 75. And we're gonna have the length at 35. Our width is gonna be 8.2. And our attenuation, we're gonna change that to, we'll keep that at 16.4. Okay, so our color temperature is okay. It's at 4,500. Do we want our shadows enabled? No, we're not gonna enable shadows on this one. Okay. So let's see, make sure that this is kinda of in the middle. So now we're trying to change up our view a little bit, get in closer. Also, gonna make this scene look a little more interesting. We wanna, we wanna make our scene look like someone has been sitting here, chairs have been moving around. So we're gonna make this negative 30. And we'll do the same for this one. All right, so now our scene looks a little more interesting. Okay. Let's refresh our image. Just kind of checking some things. Now let's test our path tracer out. Let's go to render, go to path tracer. And as you can see, it's on the medium. We wanna kick it up a notch. Well, we're gonna kick it up a lot, actually. I'm putting on 3000. 
and for my max bounces we're gonna do 25 fireflies we're gonna go down to 15 In something here. There we go. Okay. So in my original rendering, I had it at three thousand, but for the tutorial, just to kind of cut back on time. We'll do 1024. Just so it won't take a whole lot of time. All right, so now you can see it. All right, guys, we'll be back with another tutorial. We'll see you again.